Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Jason Brubaker. I specialize in digital film distribution. I show filmmakers how to make, market, and sell their movies without the middleman, and I've been doing it for quite some time. A little bit more about me, uh, probably a lot like you. Uh, Years ago, there was nothing else I wanted to do except concentrate on making my first feature film. I got together with a group of professionals, and we made this silly little zombie movie. It was our first feature And we were contacted by a bunch of acquisitions executives that said that they wanted to pick up the movie. Problem was, most of the offers were pretty bad. So we decided instead to put our movie on Amazon.com and use the internet to drive traffic to our point of sale. And we had a lot of success doing it, which completely changed the way that I thought about distribution. Um, I started a blog called Film Making Stuff where, where I shared these tips. And out of that, there were a lot of filmmakers that asked me if I could help them with their movie. Um, so I, I was doing some video on demand consulting. And that, of course, led to a job with a very popular video on demand platform where I served as the director of operations for about a year. And after that, I left to take on another role with the company as the manager of film acquisitions. And this company represented a much bigger deal because it was funded in part by William Morris Endeavor. What happened was my entire worldview of distribution was validated. Distribution, especially digital distribution, is in fact yet another form of e-commerce. And when you think of it this way, you have to view your movie like any other product that's being sold on the internet. So there's two things that you need to think about with your movie website today. The first thing is you always have to think in terms of targeted traffic. Where is your niche target audience coming from? How are you driving them to your website? And then, of course, the second part is you have to take a look at your movie website. You have to make sure that your movie website is no longer a promotional tool, but that it's optimized for sales. And most websites, the reason why I bring this up and what you can take away from this today is your website probably has way too much stuff going on. Probably have behind the scenes photos and all sorts of different links that are just distracting people from the point of sale. My suggestion to you right off the bat is to cut the fat. The way to look at your website is you have to think of it in terms of goals. What do you want people to do when they arrive at your movie website? If you want to sell more, the thing you need to think about is this um, internet marketing terminology, which is conversion funnel, and you need to create a funnel. Here's your goal. Your goal is to steer people to your buy button, and this is how people find you. Here's five common sources that people utilize to drive traffic to their website. And what happens is when people come to your website, they're going to enter your site, they're going to watch your movie trailer, and some of the people are going to just, right after they watch the movie trailer, they're going to buy now. And of course, there's always going to be people that click over to the about section because they want to find out more about you. Maybe they don't know you and they may not yet be compelled to buy. So what they're going to do is they're going to flip over and they're going to leave your site. And your goal then is to get them to opt into a form so that they can sign up for a free goodie. Now, the reason for that is if they're not going to buy today, your goal for this movie and all movies moving forward is to grow a ginormous mailing list of people that appreciate you and your work. And this is the graphical representation of what that looks like. Now, let me get into some actual case studies. Here is an old website that we utilized when we took our movie to market in Amazon. But what you can see right here is that it's boiled down to exactly what you just saw. People come to the site, um, then they read the little quote down below, probably the most offensive zombie movie ever made. That was a nice little quote. They watch the trailer, and then down at the very bottom, the only links that you're seeing are three different ways to buy the movie, and then an about page. The way that you do it is you install Google Analytics right on your site. You want to monitor where the visitor traffic is coming from, but most importantly, you want to see where it's going. And if you find out that people are leaving on pages that are not your intended goal, you want to just cut those pages out completely. So let me go back for a second. Now you see it. Now you don't. The other thing that you can see is you want to keep what matters. Now I mentioned before, your goal is to obviously make a transaction. So You want to keep what matters and you want to emphasize things like your buy now button. Here's an example of after we uh, got a graphic designer involved. um, You can see, I mean, if you're looking at this, is there is there any confusion as to in terms of what we want people to do? The buttons down at the bottom are the same, but now you can see the buy now button is a couple shades brighter. This actually increased our sales north of 15 percent, which is awesome. And let's just say somebody goes and they and they want to find out more about the movie. Do you see any way on this website for them to get back to the homepage? You don't. 
what you're seeing right now is an absolute funnel. This is driving people to the point of sale, whether it's on Amazon or iTunes or um, maybe you want to use some of the other many platforms that are out there. But the point being is you got to think of your website like a funnel and drive people to your point of sale. Now, let's say that somebody tries to leave. Although this isn't asking for a name and an email address, back in the day I had it set up so that people would have the opportunity to like us and get involved in our community. So this is one way that you can stay in touch with people. And just to show you another example of how this works, take a look at this site. Um, this is an environmentally conscious documentary about chemical pollution in people's backyards. But despite the fact that it's not a zombie movie and this is a documentary, you're seeing the same things. You see the name of the movie at the top, you see a trailer, you see a big fat buy now button, and you see your opt-in list over here. This is all by design. It's the same three fundamentals that you need to have on all of your websites so that you can either make the sale today or get people into your email list so that they buy from you tomorrow. Now, if you like this stuff and you want to find out more about some of the ways that you can build an audience and engage that audience, there's nothing more powerful than growing a ginormous mailing list of people who know you and know your work. And you can actually start on that today. I'm going to share some strategies on how to do that. If you're interested in finding out more, please click the blue link. And don't worry, I'm not going to bombard you with all sorts of like buy my stuff kind of thing. I want to help you. Um, I certainly have a track record for doing it. So if you're interested, just click the blue link down below. And if not, I hope you got a lot out of this. And, and please tell other people to watch this video.